Bud Grant's memorial service here at Grace Church brought out a who's who of Vikings through the years, but it also felt like a family affair with a couple of his former players and his son bringing the crowd to tears. Bud Grant's legacy on the field is widely known. Four Super Bowl appearances, the most wins of any Vikings coach ever. He was a pillar for the team. So you saw current coach Kevin O'Connell and his predecessor Mike Zimmer at Bud's memorial service along with legendary players like Chuck Foreman and Paul Krause. But only his closest friends and family members knew he was a secret softie. I'm gonna get ready. <sighs> he didn't realize when he was speaking that one handkerchief was not enough when he would get emotional. Mike Grant says his dad was a pillar for their family too, and he gave the Minnesota community everything he had, sometimes literally at his garage sales. He wasn't shy about sharing his wisdom off the field either. He advised Fran Tarkenton through a successful career after the quarterback's retirement in 1978. For all the years ever since, he continued to be my coach, my mentor and my friend the biggest influence in my life. Friends told us Bud would have appreciated the pride reflected in his service, but he might have been surprised by the size of the crowd paying tribute. Bud right. don't like all the attention and right. stuff. You know, he's, he's a very uh, reserved, quiet guy. I remember Bud saying, you know, old people, you know, not many people come to their service. When they die young, they do, but uh, Bud was definitely wrong. We'll all carry something away from, from, from Bud. You as a family um, and me as a player. I love you, Bud. We'll all miss you. Saturday's service was just for friends and family members, but the Vikings are planning a public memorial service for Bud Grant at U.S. Bank Stadium coming up sometime in May. In Eden Prairie, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9.